We were so excited to land in our second country on our world tour that we actually spent an entire 12 hours running around and exploring as much as we possibly could. So after trying our first Colombian coffee, we went to Mount Surat for some views and then a local market. And afterwards, we explored the Baroque neighborhood and a street market that was even bigger before finishing the day with some not so local Italian food. First impressions, number one, there's a lot more grocery stores. Number two, there's a lot less car horns, which I really love. And number three, it reminds me of kind of like a university city. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's the vibes that I get. My very first Colombian coffee in Colombia. It's an almond milk latte. Mm. So smooth, so good. Really, 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 really excited to be here. My favorite thing about Bogota, you'd have Cirque du Soleil style performers literally at every intersection doing break dancing, they're spinning on their head, they're, they're flipping their friend, or they're rolling down a 30 foot um, sheet from the light or from the overpass to maybe get a tip. Bogota, Colombia, and if you're from the Western world, the only thing you can think of is narcos but guys open up your mind a little bit get a new thought in there every once in a while bogota was a surprise very affordable easy to get into the people were nice and we got to do some fun stuff but having just decided to come literally the day before, we felt a little behind on our research, so we were kind of just Googling best things to do. We went to Mount Surat first, mostly because it's like the most popular thing to do on most people's lists. Jeremy just asked what we're doing. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure. It involves a cable car and a place called Mount Surat. So let's see if it's worth it. 44,000. $11, roughly. So you can either choose a train or the cable car. And we're gonna take the cable car. And maybe the other one on the way back, we'll see. Maybe. Well, there's a church service going on right here, so apparently it's a working church still. <laughs> Not much we do know. And um, we're enjoying the music, we're enjoying the vibe, the weather is perfect. Really a special place to come up here, very reflective. It's worth it. The $11 we paid for both of us to take the round trip was definitely worth it. <laughs> small snack and I ordered it in Spanish. I'm really proud of myself. He corrected my pronunciation. However, I still got the right thing. And uh, 40 cents. The guava. There's something that we don't have in the United States is guava as much. It's nice. A little taste, you know, a little sugar. It's like a little pop tart. We then ventured into the market and boy was the atmosphere different there. Oh, 
potatoes and like totally 100% fried plantain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like a stew. Oh, tamale. A tamale? Rice? Carrots? Carrots? Chicken. Is it warm? It's hot? Oh, it's a whole meal. Okay. This is, this is typical soup. My here Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah that helped us with English because I wanted to know what was inside of everything. We ordered a ton of stuff. Can't wait to share it with you. So this is an arepa. Uh, it's a different kind of arepa. I, I hope we're saying that right. And uh, it's uh, corn with cheese. Um, it's like a pancake, but it's got the consistency of um, like a, um, I don't know. I'm gonna figure this out. It's 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 more mushy than cornbread. It's sweet though. I'm gonna eat the whole thing to figure it out. <laughs> All right, it's a mixture between an English muffin and creme brulee. That's where it's at. The corn cheese, the corn's on the lighter side. Lots of butter. Nice. All right, you get one piece of white bread with your ah, tamale. I love it. She said you serve it with chocolate, this tamal. So it's um, it's corn. Looks like it's got some beans in it. It's carrot and it's got chicken. Ooh, I like the smoky. It's in like banana leaves. Um, this is a really good meal. It's like rotisserie chicken, but it's like smoked chicken. The elasticity of the corn is like. It's, it's really nice. Gummy. It's like gummy corn. Because the way that it's been steamed. I'm not particularly sure about what kind of corn it is. This was um, $1.75. This one. US. I had to dig it with my fingers. I couldn't do this with silver. It just looked too good. Banana with cheese and jam. Plantain, plantain, the plantain. Very interesting. Fat, sweet, the starch. It's interesting. I'm trying to decide. My palate's trying to decide. Um, I definitely like the sweet. Could give or take the cheese. Look at this. Looks like Italy, doesn't it? We're in Colombia. It's beautiful. After this, we headed back down to keep exploring the city. If we thought the markets at Mount Sarat were chaotic, however, we had no idea what we were about to get into. Uh, look at this. It's like I'm in a movie. Is this a green screen? are visiting Colombia's Old Town District in Bogota and it's so colorful. It reminds us of Curacao, Venezuela, a little bit of Spain and it's really fun to walk up and down the cobblestone streets and all the different colors. Hope you enjoy it. Look at this candy cane church. We didn't get to go inside today, maybe next time, but the entire inside is the exact same as the outside. It's painted like a candy cane. So cool. Wish I would have come up with the idea myself. Very weird. We're like trying to walk around places and everything's shut down and there's police everywhere. So 
But you go ahead and take that as a sign. We're like stuck. <laughs> we can't get out of where the police are saying we can't walk. That's what that was about. Apparently, the police had shut down the streets because some important people were there. much going on right here. I have to show you, it's crazy. Sensory overload. I can't handle it. There's old people dancing. The juice. The juice guy is screaming. There's people with wigs on. There's llamas. Llamas. Alpacas. Alpacas. There. There's so much going on. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, this is nuts. Llama, alpaca. What is going on? <laughs> That is one big pile of meat. It's one epic pile of meat. Okay, the fantastic homemade tortillas. Too great to have super hot. I didn't get the spicy one. Looks like we've got onions, tomatoes, a little bit of green pepper, some grilled onions, and some beef. It's really good. Guys, you gotta understand how good it is. It's really good. I love it. So good. 50 cents. 50 cents. 50 cents of joy. I understand why everybody likes the rapper 50 cents. Not sure if I understand the part without the person. We've been walking for a half mile and this thing keeps going, you know? It's like the mall grew up on the street. Everything you think of is happening on the street. My, my senses, I'm gonna have to take a nap after this, guys. So much excitement over chess. You gotta make it happen. It's time to start the mosh. Moshing. Mosh. Mosh pit. Moshing. Hey Dad, I found all your controllers. All your remotes. I'll show them to you.
so proud. Thank you. How much was dinner? Um, 114,000? 125,000. Oh, jeez. Let go. Nah, 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 nah.